I am telling part 3, same form element. In this part, we can see about what is called text area and summit and reset. Summit and reset also one input type, one of the input types. Summit and then input. Here I can use the word called form action. Form action means, what is the meaning of form action? Whatever I am doing in the form, whenever I submit, if I click the button called submit, where it will go and save this form information is nothing but moving form.html in the server. That is the meaning. So, or PHP file, whatever file we can give. So, this is called the form action and submit button. Reset is a reset. Again, reset the form. What is text area? Now we come to the text area. Text area, we always give row and columns. We already seen disable. Disable means we can't able to work. I will remove the disable here and remove it. Disable column and rows. For example, if I increase the column, rows, I will show you. Increase the rows. It becomes how big. Rows are increased. Suppose I reduce the rows. 15. It reduces. Rows reduces. Suppose I want to decrease the column. Column is also 15. This is called, how we can say size in input type. The input type we call size. Correct or not? Input type we already see the size of the input size. This one. Like that. This column and rows are called size of the text area. The text area we should remember text area is not a single tag. Opening tag and then what? Closing tag. In between whatever we are typing that is called the available in the box. The text area box. So that's why we are writing I write message. So we can by default all are enabled. If we want to give disable it will be disabled. So I will write and then I will agree. This will be disabled. This is called the text area. So here we see what is called disable or enable and text area, text area row and column. It is called size and submit button, form action and then input type called reset.